day. My name is Dean Rainier Perez and welcome to our instructional video number one. We are doing drop cookies. Okay, so today it's chocolate chip cookies. It's a drop cookie. All the recipe will be uploaded in our learning management system so you can refer all of our recipes through our laboratory manual. So, all the pastry chefs in the world, you cannot um, compare their work to drop cookies. But this is the best uh, recipe for practice. So we do not really associate drop cookies to pastry chefs around the world. But this is a good practice recipe for novice bakers like you. All right, so let us start with our mixing. Since all of you, my students, are at home, we will be using very simple tools and equipment in baking our drop cookies today. First, we will have one cup of butter. Make sure that this is room temperature butter. The way you will have to check it is that if it is already spreadable, all right? So that was spreadable the butter and we will put it in our mixing bowl. It is important also that our mixing bowl is big enough and we would not want to waste any of our products so we will put as much as we can into that. So to that we will add up our brown sugar. After adding brown sugar, we will be adding our white sugar. We break that. Okay. Now, it is important that we combine all of our ingredients here. This is what we call the creaming method. So this is properly incorporating the fat content of the batter with the sugar, which is very important. in our uh, sugar and butter mixture, making sure that it's well blended and well incorporated. All right, and now we will add our eggs one at a time. There you go. Creaming method, we just use the pot and fold method to incorporate our egg. Remember our lecture when we discuss the different types of mixing methodology. This is the pot and fold. When you see that the first egg is already incorporated, we add the next one. And then we add vanilla too. So if it's well mixed already. The number one rule in baking pala guys, if it is well mixed, you stop mixing. No? If the products are already well incorporated, you stop mixing because you do not want to overwork your dough. All right, so here you go. This is well mixed already. So we will set this aside and then we will have our dry ingredients to um, incorporate. All right, so first is our flour.
please refer to my first video of how to measure your dry and your wet ingredients. Be sure that it's already sifted first before you mix, all right? And this is your uh, baking soda. Baking soda is our leavening agent for today. Remember, we have three types of leavening agent and baking soda is something that we will use today. We also add our salt. Salt is a very important because it balances out the flavors of any sweet dessert. All right. Afterwards, my secret, personal secret, is the cornstarch. It makes your cookies inside soft and outside very crispy. And that is something that you would like to have in a chocolate chip drop cookie, all right? We sift again. Remember, this ingredients were already sifted, but for the purpose of it all, I am re-sifting because another limiting agent that we would like to incorporate here is air, okay? Air is another limiting agent that produces puffs in our baked products. All right, there you go. It is well sifted already. What we're gonna do now is to add our chocolate chips. This is two cups of chocolate chips and I use to add it first to the flour. Why am I doing this? It is because I would like to coat my chocolate chips first and I'm going to leave some for later, the toppings. And then I will add our chopped walnuts. And I'm gonna mix it all up gently and nicely. All right. I'd like to coat, of course, again and again our nuts and our chocolate chips with the flour mixture so that it's easy to mix it with the wet ingredients. Right, so this is exactly what we're trying to look for. And now we will combine the wet and the dry ingredients. So slowly, I'm going to add our dry ingredients. Again, we will use the fold method, the cut and fold method. You will notice also now, while you're mixing, the dough will be a little heavier and heavier. just like the ones we see at the back. This will only take around roughly five minutes to mix. But since I would like to show you guys that you can use ordinary equipments at home to do this recipe since we're in lockdown, I'm doing it the long pot method. Okay, we will just mix this until it is well incorporated. Our dough now is a little bit incorporated. I just like to go ahead and check if wala na akong na miss out na flour. Alright. So I think I'm happy with that. So before I form the dough, before I form the dough, um, I will keep this in the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes so that it will be handled properly. So by that, I will be returning here so that we can form our drop cookies ready for baking. Okay, so after it being put in the refrigerator for 20-30 minutes, 
we are now ready to form our drop cookies. So, using a spoon, of course you can use your uh, ice cream scooper, but I don't have an ice cream scooper. I have a spoon for you today. So just make sure that you eyeball it, and then you roll a little bit in your palm. All right. And then you drop. So this recipe will actually make around 24, 24 cookies. I'm just making sure that our cookie dough are practicing social distancing. All right, because it will spread later on when we are baking them. So we want to make sure that they have enough space in the baking tray or baking pan to spread. So if you're doing businesses at home, what you can do is actually to wait it. Kikimbangin mo sila para pare-pareho yung kanilang sizes. So this is what we are doing with home cooks that are doing baking and selling them online. Alright, so I'm done with uh, doing all of the drop cookies. Now I told you I'm gonna put more chocolate chips on top. Simply because I want it more pronounced. You can skip this step. You can choose not to. But as I said, to make it a little bit more special for your family and for your friends. This step. All right, so our cookies are ready for the oven. Before we even started, 15 minutes ago, we already preheated the oven, and that is an important step. Don't forget, before you actually mix your products, you have to preheat your oven so that your oven temperature will be at the right um, status before you even try to bake these. So, in to the oven right now. So they're out of the oven. Um, in baking, you have to have a lot of patience. We have to cool them down completely before we even remove it from the tray. So we are using a cooling rack because it's important that the air circulates the entirety of the baking sheet and the cookies as well before we remove. So let's have patience and let us cool this down completely before we even start plating and serving our drop cookies, which is a chocolate chip recipe. Okay, so when we are successfully done in, and patiently waited for it to be cold completely, it's time for us to plate. So I am using an offset spatula, but in your own house or your kitchen, you can use anything that is flat to lift your cookies up. So, since we're using a um, silicon mat here in school, what you can use in your home is wax paper so that it doesn't stick to the surface of your baking sheet. As you can see, it's easy for you to lift it up. Hope you can you can actually hear this because it is actually very crispy and then it's very chewy inside. And I know because we've already tested it. Okay. 
I will be continuing and plating this. And these are our baked cookies. So this is our recipe number one. And I hope to see you all in the next video for your next recipe. This is what you can go ahead and practice at in measurement, mixing, and of course, baking your very first baked product. Again, this has been Dean Rainier Perez and I am your instructor for bread and pastry production.